We're Will. And James. Fiancés, world travelers. And your out traveler tour guide. Last year was tough. Vacations were canceled, being replaced with extreme wanderlust and severe cabin fever. Now the world is finally reopening and we are ready to pack our bags, travel across the country, and see how local businesses and communities are ready to welcome back travelers. Join us as we hit the road to visit our favorite LGBTQ destinations because it's time to get back out there. One of the ways that we're trying to get back out there is by planning group trips that all of you can join us on. We've had a wonderful time exploring some major US cities and it has gotten us so excited to go abroad again, which is why we've partnered with Trova Trip to plan two international trips to Bali and Costa Rica in 2022. We've mapped out an amazing itinerary, so if you wanna join us on these two trips, check out the links down below, reserve your spot and come travel with us. When we were in Portland, we sat down with Austin Lindsay, who has been helping us plan these trips. I'm Austin, grew up in the Portland area, came out of the closet when I was 12 years old, and I've been thriving ever since. Trova Trip is an audience monetization and trip management platform. So essentially, anybody that has an audience that wants to host group retreats with them all over the world can use our platform to plan, manage, and execute these trips and essentially scale their group travel business. So if people want to operate retreats with their audience, they can use our platform to do it seamlessly and really easily. So definitely check it out. Portland's queer community, why I think it's so lovely is it's a much smaller city. So Portland's like one of the smallest major cities in the US. So with that comes a smaller community in the queer space. And so people get to know each other a lot more. And that, not to say it's it's perfect, but I, I've found it's a lot more accepting here because of that. Oregon's also a pretty rural state. And with that, people from outside of Portland kind of come here to find that love and acceptance. And so that kind of feeds into our community as well, where we all are, are people that struggle with our identities, but then we come here and it's kind of like we find each other. That to me is uh, what makes Portland's community so great. Come in the summertime. It is the most beautiful you'll see this area. There's so much nature, lush greenery. So with that, I would recommend going to a cute little state park we have called Rooster Rock. It's right on the Columbia River in the Columbia River Gorge. And there's a small section with a little island that you can walk out to that's a nude beach. So very free loving, beach vibes. Definitely recommend going out there. You can be who you want to be. And it is beautiful scenery, beautiful people, and fun times. So definitely do that. Another thing that I would definitely recommend would be the Rose Garden. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the reason why we have this Rose Garden is because the climate here in, in Portland is like perfect for roses. And actually Portland's called the city of roses. It's beautiful. You have views of Mount Hood. It's up in the West Hills. There's a beautiful forest called Forest Park right behind it. So you can go hiking through there. Beautiful would recommend. And then last one is if you want to go out for a night out, we have Darcelle's. Darcelle is the oldest actively performing drag queen in the world. She holds the Guinness Book of the World Records record for that. And she has a, a drag show. It's a very, very fun time. And then you can also do the gay bar circuit. We have CC Slaughter's, Stag, Silverado, all the fun bars. I think travel is important always. And I think why now it's even gonna be even more special to get out there is because it, it's a story of resilience. It's when something tries to hold you down or tries to hold you back, you can either choose to just let it happen and like boo-hoo, life is just happening to me, or you can take the steps to, to move forward and, and kind of control your own destiny with it. And so I think that's really what it is. We have the tools now with being vaccinated, understanding more about this virus, the proper knowledge that we need to move forward safely. And so I, I just recently went to Portugal and, and being able to like see people again and, and be around people again, it's like, you get in such a dark place and especially with this pandemic you don't know what's going to happen and so when you finally do get back out there it's like it, it's kind of this internal like message that you can do anything you can get through it you can get past it and when you do get to that other side it's so worth it so i think it's just staying resilient being smart and staying strong and just knowing that there's something bright to look forward to that's that's what travel represents for me right now
Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that we were able to inspire you to get back out there when you're ready. We cannot wait to go back to Portland someday. And if you have any exciting travel plans, let us know in the comments below. And for more information on LGBTQ plus travel destinations, visit outtraveler.com.